how to use Microsoft lists for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Microsoft lists. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here onto Microsoft. You're going to click on products and underneath products, you're going to find all these different applications, right? You're going to see all of them and you can just simply click on see all apps and services. And underneath that, scroll down, you will see lists over here underneath the L Microsoft list. Just simply click on it and it'll pop up right here. And then what you can do is you can just simply sign in or sign up and start using it. So over here, you could click on the sign in button or click over here and you should be good to go. So we're going to click over here. It's going to open up another tab. And then you can just simply go ahead and sign in with your Microsoft account or create one if you don't have one. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in and I'll catch you guys in a second. And once you've signed in, this is how lists are going to be. And over here, you can get started. So right here, this is going to be like a demo list that's already been created. You can go ahead and click over here and, you know, take a little bit of a tour or just check it out. All right. So you can just simply click over here. You can track donations for charity auctions, plan a party, keep a list of your favorite books. Right. So let's say we click over here. So if you don't know what list is, it's like notes and you can create notes. You know, you can schedule times and stuff like that. And you can do a lot of stuff. And over here, you can go ahead and create a list and you can choose an icon and choose a color as well. So for this one, I'll just choose this one. And we have a name right here called book list. We'll click on create. And this is how we create a new list. And over here, you can go ahead and add different items. You can add the genre, the prices, you can add different columns as well. And you can double click over here to add data. All right, like so. I actually don't know what the price of this book is. So I'll just say that it's around $6, like so. And then you can add a new item as well. And you can sort them by different prices as well if you want to. And I'll add one more and I'll add 12 rules for life. And I will call it over here. It's around 15 point something something. I'll just say 1550. And the genre is going to be self-help book. And we'll just simply click on add. All right. And you can add different genres as well. Like, for example, if I click over here, right, you can click on column settings. You can format this column uh, or whatever and edit it as well. It depends on you. And over here, you can add different choices as well. So as you can see, we have different choices. We can click on add choice and we'll click on choice number four and it'll be self help book or whatever. We can just simply call it like that and we can give it a color. We'll give it like a very light color like that or like this one and there we go and boom just simply click on save and then you can just simply choose it and there we go that's how you can add different columns as well now you can also change the view of this list as well so for example you click over here you can add different view as well so as you can see you can add a new uh, view name like try naming this view gallery all right, you can see we have different boards as well. So let's say we click on boards and we can name it as well. So we'll just say B O A R D board and we can choose a column, create a column by, to organize by, or you can select by genre. You can click on genre and click on create. And now your books are going to be sorted by genre. So novels, memoirs, references, self help, all the books are going to be right here. You can even add. A new bucket right here and of course you can always change the view by clicking on the gallery option right and we'll just say gallery and we'll just simply click on create and now we have a gallery view of all these books and we'll click on each of them and we can go ahead and add attachments as well so it depends on us so for example this is the book right i'll click on the image and i'll download the image all right click on save image We'll come over here and this is the book right here. We'll click on attachments, right? We'll click on add attachment. And this is the attachment that we are going to add it. And there we go. And we always will have an attachment right here. And of course, you can always go ahead and export them as well. So you can just simply click on export and you can export as a CSV file as well. So it depends on you. 
and then if you want to go back you just simply click on this uh, hamburger menu or spiral menu or waffle menu whatever you want to call it and you can just simply quickly switch over to different applications as well you can click on all apps you will find it right here but we don't want to go back so we'll just simply click on microsoft list and it'll take us right here back over here we can also create other lists as well by using the template section that we can see right here we can have more list as well like a tour list as well so it depends on you let's go ahead and take a look at some of these templates we'll click on to see all templates and down below we have a bunch of different templates that we can choose from so we have a blank template it's going to be blank as the name suggests we can go ahead and create new list according to ourselves we have the issue tracker where we can track issues and bring them to, you know, closure. Like, for example, if you are running a program and you have a bunch of different problems occurring, you can go ahead and type a list. If you are running an agency or have different employees working for you or different partners, and then you can create a list for all of their problems and specify them. And you can also categorize them by priority. And therefore, you can solve those problems by priority. And there we have a bunch of different other ones as well, like an asset manager. There's going to be like an inventory type of thing, content scheduler, uh, work progress tracker, uh, travel request, you know, a bunch of different options. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one, work progress tracker. We'll use this template right here. So we have work items, description, category, progress, priority. We have start date, due date, assigns, notes, and all of that. We can use this template as well. So we can just simply click on use template. We can choose the icon we want. We can choose the color as well. And we'll just simply click on create. We can even give it a description if you want. So we'll just call it progress tracker or word tracker or uh, gym progress tracker. You can call it whatever you want. And you can click on create. Wait for a couple of seconds and you will have a tracking list available now you can just simply go ahead and create a new uh, tracker so we'll just say record some videos for the channel we'll give it a description if you want and over here we can go ahead and select the category as well and as i said before you can create different categories as well and of course you can add different columns as well like you click on add columns you have a bunch of different options you have choices date and time yes or no numbers hyperlinks images look up you have a bunch of different options as well if you want to add them and in each column you can add your own settings by clicking on the column settings and you can have the format this column or add a column or you can click on edit to edit that column and add different categories different choices different values as well so it depends on you for this one we'll click on add choice and choice number six is going to be different we are going to add uh youtube as a choice there we go although i don't know how we're going to do that and we can't add these logos right here since these are like pre-added so i don't know how to do that i don't think you can do that and then you have your more options as well down below as you can see you click on more options it pops up you can add a drop down menu as a display option or a radio button and you can enforce unique values if you want to you have other options as well so then you just simply click on save and save your changes now if you click over here or let's say over here we'll just choose a button so as you can see radio button type of you know view and then you have your progress all right you can then of course go into settings and you can add different ones as well so for now i think that we have this in progress and priority is going to be set to medium to high i'll just set medium and we have start date due date assigned to you can even add this if you want to remove this column you can just simply click over here or hide this column all right depends on you you can add notes and i'll just say almost 10 of them have been created and we'll just simply click on save and you can group by priority you can group by work item you can add other tasks like this and this is generally how you use your lists so very simple nothing too complicated right here you just simply create a list create your items add your descriptions and add your columns and you are good to go so that is how you use lists guys that is how you use microsoft list so if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye